Hello guys and welcome back to Coding Conway's Game of Life in Ruby. In the previous video we have initialized this classical game and right now we're going to expand on it. Um, let's start by writing this uh, seeding of, of cells um, upon initialization of a game properly. Okay. So before writing any code uh, let us write our tests first. So um, Within a context of a game in our RSpec file, let's write it should uh, plant seeds properly. Okay, do end. Let us first uh, see how we should plant these seeds. Okay, so we plant these seeds upon initialization of a game, which means that we should create a new variable called game, and that variable should be game.new and we should pass a new world object and um, we should pass some array with uh, with something in it and with this within this array we're not going to write uh, something like this let me just clarify we're not going to write something like this cell.new uh, cell.new etc etc and that is because now uh, upon initialization of a game we reference or create a new world object and this world object uh, already has a whole bunch of cells in it because of the ho whole code which we have written before and all of these cells are dead so it doesn't make any sense to create uh, new cells uh, upon seeding um, it only makes sense that we reference um, already existing cells within this world object and uh, turn them from dead to alive okay so we're not going to have something like this cell new cell new we're going to have something like this oh dear lord uh, sorry for typos we're going to have something like this okay we're going to have a whole bunch of small arrays which are going to contain a coordinates um, to reference dead cells within this world and then we're going to turn these cells into alive cells okay so now that we have this conceptually uh, within our heads let us begin to implement this and let us erase all this code and let us jump back into our test. So within this array let us create uh, two smaller arrays okay and uh, later test if those cells referenced by these coordinates are going to be alive or dead. So let's create two cells one referenced by one and two and second referenced by zero and two uh, coordinates okay. Uh, and let's run our tests before anything else to see um, whether we are on a good track. Okay, so we have one test failing, saying that we have an undefined local variable or method called world, which is indeed true because this world doesn't exist yet. Uh, let's correct that mistake by cr uh, by making it exist. So, um, on the very top of our R spec file, let's create this world variable by this let method which uh, our spec provides and uh, this let method basically will um, create a new world object in this case uh, each time we re reference this world variable okay so let's run our test again and see that this l this is passing okay and let us jump back down there in our testing of uh, planting these seeds uh, to test them properly. So this line is now passing and now in the next line we should check if these cells are actually alive and the way we do that is uh, we reference this world object and specifically this cell grid within that world and then we check if those cells are, are alive. So we write something like world uh, cell grid uh, 1 and 2 
which correspond to these these numbers right here uh, and this uh, selects a cell on that on that cell grid um, and that cell should be alive okay and this cell under these coordinates should be alive as well as this, as this cell under the 0 and 2 coordinates okay so let's create a test for that also and let us uh, run our tests to see where we are failing and we are failing on this undefined method alive because we do not have it and before we write it write that method let us create a separate test for it within a context of a cell uh, to be like sure that we're doing the TDD properly um, it should respond to proper method methods it should respond to alive question mark method let's run our tests see that we have two failing tests because we do not have this uh, alive method within a cell class and let's define this alive method and run our tests again to see where we are failing and we're failing because we're expecting a live question mark to return true and we get nil we get this nil because this alive method doesn't do anything uh, when it, sh it should uh, return the alive attribute of this cell and when we run our tests again we see them failing uh, expecting alive to return true when we get false so right now we get these this um, cell um, alive attribute to return false when it should be alive and that is because we haven't implemented this seeding properly so let's do that right now uh, let's jump back into our basic file and up, up right about right up here in the initialize of a game let's let's make these seeds alive okay so the way we do that is uh, we iterate over each of the elements uh, within this uh, seeds uh, array and let us call that element each of that those elements seed and um, it's very similar to the test that we have written here so each of these seed should become alive and the way we reference that seed is by calling the world uh, cell grid remember this world references uh, this world right here and this world of a this world object of this game which we initialize and that world cell grid uh, should make these cells alive mm, and it should make them alive something like this okay it should have this array within an array because within these seeds we have an array within an array and we see that uh, clearly here in our test and uh, the way we make these seeds alive is we first have to reference this element which we do by with this seed and we have to reference uh, this one and this two and the way we do that is by by calling the seed zero in the first uh, first this bracket and within a second we will call seed that one okay and uh, now we reference that th these these numbers properly and now we should make them alive so we have now referenced that cell and we should make the alive attribute true okay mm, let's run our tests and what do you know we see that our tests are green which is awesome because right now we have implemented this seeding uh, of our cells, cells properly so that's all for this video uh, and as you may guess by now uh, see you in the next video thank you